you want to get better results from your email marketing, there are only three types of emails you need to master. But most people overcomplicate it or don't even realize the difference. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create all three in Brevo quickly and easily. Whether you're sending a newsletter, a one-time blast, or an automated sequence, I'll show you how to set them up step-by-step step in Brevo. By the end, you'll know which emails to send and when to maximize your results. I'm going to be walking you through everything step-by-step, step, so if you want to follow along and haven't signed up for Brevo yet, click the link below to get started for free. And since Brevo's sponsoring this video, they're hooking my viewers up with a 50% discount. But what's awesome about Brevo is you can get started for completely free and they have a really generous free plan. So get started with that and you can always upgrade later if you need more functionality. And if you sign up with my link, you'll be able to use the code SOLOPRENEUR if you ever do end up upgrading in the future and lock in your 50%. So to create your free account, you can just use your email or you can just sign in with Google or Apple. It takes a few seconds. And then it's going to help you fill in your profile. It's going to ask you for your phone number in order to verify your account. And then it's going to let you scan your website to instantly create your brand. And if you don't have a website, it'll let you create your brand manually. So once you're signed into Brevo, you'll be taken to your dashboard. And of course, before you can send any emails, you need to set up a few things and add your contacts. So let me really quickly show you how to do that. So just click in the top right hand corner, go to senders. And here's where you'll be able to add all of your senders. And so you can just go add sender and add your email addresses. Now this is optional, but you can also do your D K I M signature, your D mark. Basically what this stuff does is it helps improve deliverability and it's generally recommended. Honestly, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is add a bunch of DNS records to your domain. So whoever your domain is registered with, the steps are always the same and it's pretty simple. You're just copying and pasting values into your domain setup basically. And so every registrar is going to be a little different, but the steps are straightforward. And if you don't know how to do it, you can literally just email their support. So if you're with Squarespace or GoDaddy or whoever, just email their support and say, I need to add these records to my DNS, how do I do it? And they'll tell you, it takes like two minutes. Again, optional, but I'd recommend it. Next, let me show you how to easily manage your contacts. So head over to lists underneath contacts because we first wanna create a list that we'll import all our contacts into. So you can see a few example lists here. And if you want, you can also create folders which will help keep your list a little bit more organized. So just go to create a list. You can call it whatever you want. You can choose a folder and you go create list. And there you go, you have a new list that we just made. <laughs> now, in order to add contacts to this list, you have a few different options. You can go create a contact and you can literally just manually create a contact. You can just fill in all of their information here and hit create. So that's self-explanatory, that's the first way. And a better way, if you have a number of contacts you just wanna import, say you're moving from another system or you already have a list, you can just go to import, you can go to contacts, continue, and then you can import from a file, say a CSV file, and then it'll just bring that in. You can confirm your file and you can start mapping it. So email to email, first name to first name, last name, you get it pretty self-explanatory. And then you can confirm the mapping and it will import those contacts in for you. And if you're starting from scratch and you don't have any contacts and you need to collect them, no worries. Brevo has a solution for that too. You can create a form and this form is what's going to allow you to collect contacts. So you can create a sign up form and you have a few options here. You can do a full page form where you can embed it anywhere you want. Like you could do it on your website or you can just get a direct link to it to put in your social profile, whatever you want, or you can even email it out. And so you can say like example form. And this is really, really self-explanatory and it's really, really intuitive. So for example, you got the email field. Let's say you want to add a title field. You can add that. If you want to add, say, a different field like multiple choice or single choice, you can add that and configure it. It's really just drag and drop. You can click on anything and change the colors if you'd like as well right here. So it's really intuitive. You can just add whatever forms you want to collect. And remember, you always want to try and minimize the number of form fields. So I really wouldn't go more than maybe email and first name unless you had a really good reason to add more fields. And once you create your form, you can then sync it to a list. So this is our list right here. And so whenever people fill in this form, they'll get added to that list we just made. 
Here you can add a confirmation email if you want. We can skip that for now. And you can display your success message. You can customize this so they know that the form was successfully filled. And then finally, here you go. You can get your form and you can either just do that with a browser and you can see it's just there so you don't need a website or anything or you can of course embed it in your site. Real quick, there's also an option instead to create a pop-up and so the steps are basically the exact same except it's gonna show as a pop-up and then when you're embedding it, you're gonna embed it in your website and it'll show up as a pop-up. They give you the code to do it. And really quickly, if you are on a paid plan, then you can actually create landing pages instead of having just the form. And so you can see here, there's a whole bunch of templates you can use here. And let's say you wanted this one. It's just like everything else in Brevo where you can just very simply just click and change anything you like. And it's really intuitive and you can change the sections, you can drag in new sections, anything you'd like, and you can change it up and then you'll be able to publish this page. And so that's a more customized version if you wanna have something where you wanna have a bit of a reason why you wanna put a form there. If you don't have an existing website or you're not warming them up already with your social media so they know what the form is about, then you can actually get landing pages as well and make those, um, but that is a paid feature. One final thing here, you'll also see in addition to lists, you have segments and what segments let you do is send to specific people within a list based on certain criteria. So for example, I've created a list here that's only people in the United States and Canada. And so of my list of about 7,000 people, you can see only 2,000 meet that list criteria. And so you could really make this any criteria you want, right? You can see all of these filters and fields. And so you can filter this by however you want. You can even do it by like um, email sent, who's even opened emails, who hasn't opened, all sorts of things. It's pretty crazy the amount of data you can play with here and the kind of variables you can play with. But basically you can make a segment for almost anything you can think of. And that's really handy if you wanna send different offers to different groups of people so like people who have purchased versus haven't purchased for example or have subscribed to something or have attended your webinar versus they haven't so on and so forth so segments are a really good way to have a more personalized email experience and get higher open rates than blasting everyone okay so now that we've gotten our contacts in and set up our senders now we can start sending emails so the first kind of email i'm going to show you how to send is a newsletter so this is gonna be a long form email that goes out on a consistent basis and has a consistent format. This is a really great way to deliver value consistently, stay top of mind with your customers and promote your offerings. This is the backbone of your email strategy. If you don't have the capacity to be writing daily emails, then launching a weekly or even monthly newsletter still lets you stay top of mind without a whole lot of effort. So the first step in creating a newsletter is to go to templates because of course we wanna create a template that we can use over and over. Then go to create template, email template, and you can name it, example news. You can enter a temporary subject line. It doesn't really matter because you'll of course change it every single time. And you can leave all of this the same. One cool thing is to activate Google Analytics tracking so you can see who's visiting your website from your emails. Next, you can choose a simple layout or you can choose from the template gallery. And so you see there are dozens and dozens and dozens of options. You can choose what makes sense for your brand and for your niche. Let's go with this one. You can preview it by clicking here. Seems like a newsletter, seems good to me. And you just click on it and then it opens up. And just like everything else in Brevo, it's really easy to edit this. You can just click and change anything you want. If you wanna add any additional components, you can just add it. Let's say you want to add a video here. It's not the nicest, but you know, you get the idea. If you wanted to add some more text, you could just drag it in. And you can even add entire sections. Like let's say you want to add a section about who this newsletter is by and you want to give yourself a bit of a bio. And so you can see it's really, really easy to customize. Then you just go to save and quit when you're done to create your template. And then you want to, of course, activate it so it can be used. And so you can see yours here. And let me give you a real life example though. Here is my newsletter. And so you can see it has quite a bit of sections in it and I built it exactly how I showed you. And so every time I create my newsletter, I just change out the sections 
and you should actually subscribe to the newsletter. <laughs> okay, so once you've created your newsletter, you wanna go over to campaigns and then you wanna go to create campaign. Then you wanna choose email. Again, you can name it whatever you like. And then you're gonna choose your senders and you've already set up your senders. You're gonna add your recipients. So choose the list that you created. Then the subject, like I said, you can add whatever you'd like, of course. Choose an appropriate subject for your email. That's gonna increase readability. And then you go to start designing, go to my templates, and then you can see a preview of your template right here. Let's say we're using my newsletter or let's say we use the one we just created. And so you can see there, you can make any customizations to your template right here. So you can actually fill in the appropriate content. You go save and quit and then you can schedule or preview and send yourself a test email. So after your newsletter, the second kind of email you're gonna wanna create is a email blast or broadcast email. And so these are emails that you send on an as needed basis when you wanna share something specific with your audience. Maybe you've launched a product and you wanna drive a few sales. Maybe you're running a webinar and you wanna get some signups, or this could be really anything that you wanna get the word out about, any kind of communication you wanna send to your audience that's a daily in the moment type of thing it's a great way to drive traffic to whatever you're promoting or you want to share instantly and to do this it's the exact same as creating a newsletter it's just a smaller simpler email so you could go off and create a template if this is a format you will use again and again or instead of creating a template first you can actually just create the email right away just go to create campaign click email and then we follow the exact same steps. We name the campaign and we set up the recipients and the subject and we start designing, except you pick your template here and you would just build it and it wouldn't be a saved template. It would just be a one-off email. And that's really good if you're just trying to send, for example, simple emails, right? Let's say you just want to send a text one. You don't need to set up a template first and then do it here. It's just in one work. Now, the last kind of emails I'm going to show you how to create are automated emails. And there are a lot of different use cases for these, but they generally fall into three different buckets. The first are what I like to call transactional or confirmation emails. They're just automated emails that go out when a certain action happens. So for example, if a customer buys a product from you, you send them a confirmation, or if they register for a webinar, you send a confirmation. There are so many different examples, but these emails are really critical in order to reduce the number of support inquiries you get and to create just a better customer service experience. The next type are drip, nurture, or funnel emails. And there's a lot of different names for them, but they all mean the same thing. And basically the goal here is to take someone from a certain stage in your sales process or buyer's journey to that next stage. So for example, let's say someone downloads your free guide, then maybe over the next several days or weeks, you wanna send them a sequence of emails promoting your products and services so that they may make a purchase. Or let's say they bought a cheaper product of yours or they've bought just one product and you want to increase repeat purchases or you want to upsell them on something else, then you could make a sequence that does that for you. Lastly, you have sort of behavioral or marketing activity type emails. And so these trigger when your customer has done a very specific action or met a very specific criteria. So for example, let's say they're shopping online on your website and they abandon the cart instead of checking out well, the system could then trigger an email to try and recover that sale. That's sort of the classic example. Or let's say they're on a very specific page of your website. You could even send them an email following up with them because maybe you know that they're interested in a certain product or service by being on that page. So as you can see, automations could be really simple or they could be more complex and incorporate a few different systems. And everyone's automation needs are gonna be different and the workflows they create are gonna be different. So what I'm gonna do in this section is teach you the principles of how to build these email automations so you can basically build anything you want because once you understand the core fundamentals, it's really straightforward. So within Brevo, to create an email automation, go to automations and then go to create an automation. So we're going to start with the standard builder here and I'll come back to the templates which can make things really easy as well but I first want to show you the fundamentals. So the way automations work is there always has to be a trigger so this is the thing that will set off the automation and trigger that workflow and so this is what Brevo will always be listening for. So as a simple example whenever a contact is added to a list so say someone joins your newsletter for example 
maybe then you want to send them a welcome email. And so once you've chosen your trigger and you can see all of the triggers here and there's a lot of different triggers, then you choose an action. So it's very logical. There's triggers, there's actions, and there's rules, and I'll get to rules. Okay, so now when someone gets added to this list, what do we wanna do? Okay, we wanna send them an email. And so here we would design our email and the steps are the exact same as we used in the email builder. So you can choose a template and you can design it here and you just click use your design in the automation. We've already covered this, so I'm going through it quickly, but the steps are the exact same. You'd set up your subject and your preview here and you save it and there you go, there is your email. Now you can also add some other things here. So let's say you wanna send them this welcome email and then let's say you're like, you know what? A day later, I wanna pitch them on my products. Well, you can add a time delay here under rules. Very simple, one day. And then we go back to actions, send an email. So it's really like building with Lego. It's so easy, right? It's very logical. So you use your second template or make an email on the spot again. We just go through the exact same steps again and that's how easy it is to build automations. And so we save it. And of course you can do many other things, right? You can send an email, you can send an SMS, you can create a task, depending on which features you pay for and have in Brevo. If you have the sales platform, if you have the messaging platform, whatever you're using, you can do all of these different kinds of actions. And you can set up rules which are very logical and really intuitive. So for example, let's say I want to send a third email, but for example, I only want to send it if it's people in the United States. Let's just say that, right? So I could add a split condition that says load segments, only people say in US and Canada and save that. Right, and if I set up segments before, I could create the segment right here, just like how I showed you how to create segments. And so now there's a branching path for yes and no. Or if I didn't want to do that, I could maybe do instead, I could do instead of a conditional split, I could do a wait until this happens. And this is a really powerful one. Like maybe I don't want to send them down this next path. Let's say I want to add another email, but I don't want to do it until he opens the email the person who gets this say, right? Let's say we want this individual person, he or she to open this email and we don't wanna send it until that happens. And so you wanna wait, say five days or whatever, however you wanna set it up, but you would set that email filter to say, hey, I only want it when they open this email. So I'm showing you quickly here, but there's a lot of power for how you could build these really intricate, well thought out flows. And it's all in just very simple logic. And so it's organized here, triggers, actions, rules. And so that's kind of how you build the automation and then you activate the automation. But I wanna show you something else. If you wanna do this even easier, you can actually use the pre-built automation. So you can see if you wanted that welcome message, you can just go here and import in that automation. And we can also see way more automations here. You can see all the ones you can just import. This is a cool one on their birthday, for example. You could send them an email automatically. Whether they open an email, you can send them and you can preview the automations here. And then of course they have the more sort of complex ones like product purchase, but you gotta make sure you connect your e-commerce store so that Brevo obviously knows that a purchase was made or if they abandoned the cart. Again, that's an e-commerce store feature. If you integrate that, it's pretty easy, but for the sake of time, I won't go through that. A website event, so you would have to add the Brevo cookie or the Brevo basically add on. They have a little JavaScript thing you add and then it knows when people are on your site. So there are some more advanced stuff obviously and there's more uh, standard stuff that anybody can use out of the box without having to integrate any other tools if you're just using Brevo alone. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great tool tutorials just like this one. Now, I showed you how to create a newsletter in Brevo, but what if you could create a newsletter that literally writes and sends itself? Well, if you wanna know how to do that, check out this video right here.